Okay, sorry. So I've had some people ask if they can subscribe and absolutely you're more than welcome to do so, but I'm, this is me. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't fix my hair um, to, to film, obviously. Um, I only wear makeup on a very, very rare occasion. Now, I will say, <coughs> excuse me, um, the older that I get and the more I look in the mirror and I see that old lady looking back, um, I'll be honest, I wish I did know how to put on makeup. Maybe it would help a little bit. But, um, and the other thing is, I'm just down to earth. Okay, I don't, um, I don't, I don't do these. I, I wouldn't have any idea how to do these perfect videos. Um, and the other thing is, mostly, I just decided that I was going to use this um, platform, even though I'm itty bitty. Maybe someone will come across that is actually not aware of the case and will check into it. And maybe they'll be the one that can help us change things. So, um, what I wanted to say, and as you can, I, I don't like, I don't like mirror. I, I don't like, I don't like pictures. I don't like any of that stuff. So it's really interesting that <clears throat> I even try. Um, all right. So, my hair is bothering me. I could probably complain about something else, I'm sure. Y'all tuned in just to listen in two minutes of complaining, right? So, um, let me get down to business. Is anyone else offended? That Mr. Shapiro constantly talks about how they saved Maya's life. Every chance he gets. The hospital tries to push this BS that they saved Maya's life. Now, I'm just going to give you my opinion of that. No, you didn't. No, not at all. She survived in spite of you, but you didn't save her life, buddy. Now... Uh, the biggest question that I have for John Hawkins All Children's Hospital and Mr. Shapiro, who, by the way, was extremely involved in the sheltering orders, right? And they wanted to send Maya out of state. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff. But let me just ask. We're, I'm, I'm just going to stay right on this subject, okay? How on earth do you think you saved Maya? Her family had been working for a resolution to her pain for quite some time. Extensive research, ketamine coma. Um, and the thing is, is when, when they brought Maya to you and they started divulging things for her treatment, they didn't know they were supposed to hide anything from you. Like, for example, if you don't agree with my choices of medical treatment, then you're going to feel that you have the right to take a child from me. I, I, I've got a major problem with that. Major problem with that. And because you're being questioned, now you want to say how you saved her. And you also want to act like she's fine now. And had you not been involved, she wouldn't be fine. 
Well, first of all, she's not fine now. She has no mother now. Second of all, the scars will live with her forever for what you did to her in that hospital, forever. You guys did not believe she hurt. Now, you want me to believe you had empathy or compassion for her or her family? You want us to believe that you worked so hard because you were saving her life. And in, and in saving her life, you, I, I believe that you're referring to the ketamine, that the ketamine was stopped. I'm just going to guess. And if that were the case, sir, I think it would have had to be long before she went to Mexico. Because once she went to Mexico and they did that ketamine <coughs> coma, and then she came back to the States, she was getting ketamine IVs. Obviously, the ketamine wasn't harming her. Wow. Now, that's a novel idea right there. Did anybody in your hospital ever go, wow, they're giving this child what? Wow, how can that be? I didn't know that that was possible. And reach out to the doctors and get some information because your doctors didn't have all the information. Nor do they still. They're still lacking. My nose itches. It's right here on the side. So, um, In some ways, I could say it's comical. But it's the most heartbreaking thing in the world. The only reason I say comical is because you're supposed to be the professionals. And you don't even use common sense. So please, please stop saying you saved Maya because you did not save Maya. In fact, you're missing the boat here. You, you didn't even listen to Beata in her letter. The family wanted to save Maya from you people. Because you did not have her best interest at heart. You did not care if she cried. You did not care if she soiled herself. You did not care what she did. You just hope to catch her lying. You hope to catch her doing something a normal child would do. But let me ask you. Does, did Maya at that time appear to you to be a normal nine-year-old? Ten-year-old? Eleven-year-old? Because she seems very intelligent to me. And with the amount of pain that she was in and the discussions that her family had to have with her, very, very intelligent about what was going on with her body. So, stop saying you saved her. Just stop. That, that, that's not going to get you anywhere. Because nobody listening to you believes you saved Maya. Maya didn't need saving from her parents. She sure did need saving from Jay Hatch. And you guys still want to drag a child through the mud. And yet people want to say, well, because they went ahead with this lawsuit. Yeah. I'm glad they went ahead with the lawsuit. I'm sorry for what it's done to their family to do so. But apparently somebody needed to do something. And even still, you guys don't get it. You're still doubling down. And you're still saying you're wrong. You're right. I'm sorry. You're saying you're right. But you did not save Maya. 
Maya was not in danger with her parents or her other treating doctors. So just stop saying you saved her, okay? Because that just really irritates me. Just, it boils my blood. Not quite enough that I can't come out in the garage and make this video without putting a hood on, but you people make me so angry. And I just wanted to say that. I'm going to have more where I'm thinking clearly or, or well, clearly, and written down some notes so I don't go, like, sideways or forget what I want to say because that's just how I roll. I have to write a note to remember stuff to do during the day because my brain just goes squirrel. And I go, why? I'm not sure why, but, you know, I'll start one thing and then I have to do another and another and another. And then eventually I never go back to number one. So I'm always back in number three. And then I'm, I'm trying to find two and four. See, that's how my brain works. So I, that's why I write things down. But this is something that the other night I wanted to elaborate on and I could not. And now I'm only taking just a few minutes because I am long-winded. And I know that people go, lady, would you just stop? So I'm trying to get to the point because I want more people to listen. I want more people to understand that you didn't save her. You did not save Maya. You didn't do it. Stop claiming you did. Just stop. It's an insult to her family. It's an insult to Beata. You did not save this child. As I'm going to say again, she survived and she has excelled and she has worked hard. And you can tell some days in the courtroom that she's not sleeping well. And she's in pain. I don't know that anybody asked that and put it out there, but I'm telling you right now, she doesn't sleep well. And during trial, she had a lot of pain nights, probably painful days, but she suffered a lot of pain. And you guys just want to stand up and do a happy dance and say y'all are awesome because Maya is thriving regardless of the fact that she's in pain every day. No one's addressed that. Nobody's addressing the fact that you're patting yourselves on the back and so happy. But what you're forgetting to do is to tell the public that because of this investigation and how it was done, they could no longer seek treatment that they felt worked for Maya. You don't have that right. I'm I'm a grandma. I'm I'm a nana. I'm a nana. I don't have the right to tell my own children that they're not treating my grandchildren properly. Do you know why? I don't have that right. It's not my decision to make. A lot of people choose an orthodox ways, strange ways, different ways to combat all kinds of illnesses. Beata wasn't trying to do that. She was just trying to find what would stop her child's pain? So the way they went, was it unconventional? Are we going to look back in years and go, it was brown, groundbreaking and that we supply it in the States and that it does make sense and that it does help people? Or... Well, in the future, they find it doesn't. Is that the place of a hospital? To have a child or anybody brought in 
you get their history. You don't agree with the treatment. And their life becomes a living hell. Whatever laws gave you the right to do that need to be changed. Nothing's going to change your view. Y'all all think you saved Maya. And the reason I say, you know, I, I made a video the other day and I sadly said you should have saved her before Mexico. I didn't mean you should actually have saved her from going to Mexico. That's not what I meant. What I meant is if you, if, if ketamine were going to be lethal, one would have thought it would have been during the ketamine coma, which helped her and she survived and she was able to start doing things that weren't causing extreme pain so she could recover. So it's really insulting that you keep saying you saved Maya because Maya did not need saving. Maya needed relief from pain. Just a little help until they could go back to the regular treating physician. But you didn't save her. And her parents had the right to make every, every decision that they made. Whatever they decided was in the best interest of their child. And I have no doubt Beata Kowalski researched this heavily. And with her having an understanding of medical, you bet that she did. She didn't make any of these decisions lightly. You act like she just didn't care. Just, ah, we'll try that. Can you imagine what she went through? The frustration, the fear, all because she won't help her child? So, please stop saying that. If you don't listen to anything else, at least stop saying you saved Maya. Because you did not save Maya. <laughs> Far from it. You took from her so much and so many things and, and many things she'll never get back. And the one main thing was her mom. And you pushed her to where no mother should be pushed. So that's all I had to say. I hope y'all have a good night. I'll be back in a few days. I'm, I'm having to work on something for my grandson. And um, so I'll be back. I'll be back with more thoughts for anybody that's interested. I, uh, <coughs> I'm going to go down that rabbit hole of chapter 39 next, I think. That's the one that just burns me to no end. So I need to maybe understand it better. As to how it happened. Seemed like it was a. <coughs> railroad. Crash. Actually. <coughs> well my cold is going to take me on. So I'm going to leave. So y'all are saved. Under 19. Under 20 minutes. Or 25. Under 25. I did well. Bye everybody.